Hello, it's Hyjo. We're going to send me two copyright counter notifications. Today, you two said that I have 10 days to reply to the counter notification. Include evidence that Sue Gray alerted to keep his field from being reinstated. Gray said this field is a live stream where he's talking about and reacting to my content. He said that I admitted to filing false copyright strikes against him to get his channel taken down, which is a lie. He said he has an attorney and will sue me if I don't take the strike down. He said they saw that this is in good faith. He promises that his video was fair use. He sent another copyright notification. But I talk about this one. YouTube wants me to show that Super Alert by April 17th. If I want his field to not be reinstated. There are times when you could use somebody's field without their permission if it's for fair use. YouTube says that fair use can count as use in small parts of the material, not broad or large parts of it. If somebody's field doesn't transform the original field, it's not fair use. Fair use depends on what you're using the field for. There's no specific link that somebody can use your field without accounting as copyright infringement. Even Greg playing 11 seconds of my field on his live stream without saying anything can count as copyright infringement. YouTube is basically telling me to sue Greg for copyright infringement. They're not telling Greg to sue me for filing false copyright strikes. If I sue him, he will ask you to be the one to prove that he used my field for fair use. He admitted in the email that he used my PO. He had to put his real name, address, and phone number in the email. But I won't show that information because I don't want to dox him in the next email. He said again that his PO is under fair use. He said that he reacted to my video. He lied and said that I use a lot of his content without his permission. I don't use a lot of his content. He said that he sent copyright strikes to me. He said that if I don't revoke the videos, him and his attorney will pursue this in the court law. Greg sent copyright strikes against me, but YouTube never approved them. If you pay attention to the email, <coughs> Greg admitted that he lied, although he sweared that he was telling, telling the truth. I don't think that YouTube cares about fair use in this case because in the copyright notification, they have you sign something that says, I swear under penalty of perjury that I have a good faith belief that the material was removed due to a mistake or misidentification of the material to be removed or disabled. YouTube doesn't say anything about fair use. They basically said that Greg admitted, well, he agreed that he didn't use my field, although Greg admitted they used my field. Greg basically committed perjury and lied to YouTube. If I wanted to, I can also sue Greg for falsely taking my YouTube channel down on the same day that I got his channel banned on August 2nd, 2022. He got my channel banned for spam, scams, or commercially deceptive content. Then I filed an appeal to YouTube and the appeal I told them about me getting Greg's channel banned for using my content. And I told them about Greg getting me banned for getting him banned. The next day, YouTube unbanned my channel because I didn't violate their community guidelines. Greg said in the field a long time ago that he filed an appeal, but YouTube rejected it. That pretty much shows that YouTube thought that I was right for getting his first channel taken down. Greg can't sue me for filing false copyright strikes because he admitted to use my videos in his counter notification to me, but I could sue him. YouTube unbanned my channel the next day after filing an appeal. Gives me a good case to sue him for falsely getting my channel banned, but I don't want to waste time filing lawsuits. The fact that I got him banned two times for him using my content shows that he's a repeat offender and doesn't care about the rules. I'm still not going to talk directly with Gregory on any platforms. He said that his channel, the official Greg Lurie show, is suspended from all and videos or live streaming for two weeks. I may let it stay suspended for a week. I may reply to this email in nine days, but I may not reply to the email and let YouTube reinstate its field in 10 days. I could easily reply to the copyright counter notification email and tell YouTube that he has two channels. Greg Lurie, Chad Light Army, and the official Greg Lurie Show. If I had to say the ad symbol, I would say the channels are at Everybody Loves Greg and at Greg Army Strong. He changed his YouTube name from Greg Lurie, Margaret Central to Greg Lurie, Chad Light Army. Even if it feels on his channel, the official Greg Lurie Show got reinstated. The channel will still get banned by YouTube for being active while having three channels banned on YouTube. By Greg filing two copyright notifications, all he did was get YouTube's attention.